Hello, welcome, what is up? How's it going? How are we feeling? Well, oh, welcome to a little gift guide video. I have a list on my phone of a bunch of things that you can get someone if they're into the gym or like fitness or whatnot. So I just thought if you're not sure what to either ask for or what to get someone, I'm gonna help you out. This is the first year that I'm asking for a lot of fitnessy things for Christmas. Normally I ask for a bunch of just random things, whereas this year I actually know what I want. Anyway, we're gonna just get right into it. So number one, and you know, we had to start off with this, is activewear, and specifically for me, Gymshark. There is genuinely no feeling better than putting on a new new gym set, a new outfit, a new set. It just, there is just no feeling like it. The amount of confidence and badiness you feel putting on that new set, it's unmatched. I think getting someone a new gym set is just so motivating. It's, a, it's a just a good gift to get. Also, gym wear is the most comfortable thing ever. So even if you're not into fitness, gym wear is just super comfy. Next on kind of the clothing aspect, I guess, is shoes. Shoes are really important for the gym and also obviously everyone loves a new pair of shoes. If you're either really into cardio, maybe some new running shoes. Personally, like I said, I don't do cardio, so I do a lot of weightlifting. And my favorite shoes to lift in are my blazers by far, those Nike blazers. I was a Converse gal, but then I got my blazers and they just, I don't know why they, they're so much better than any other shoe I've ever lifted in ever. I just love those shoes so much. And obviously when you're lifting weights, you need to have basically your feet on the ground. Blazers are just my absolute favorite for them. Next, I don't really have an order for all of this. I'm just gonna go randomly now. So the next I've got is a water bottle. It's overlooked, but water bottles are very, very important in the gym. Obviously you need to stay hydrated, but having a nice sturdy water bottle is very important for me. I'm very clumsy, so I have dropped my water bottle, knocked it over, thrown it. I mean, I've done all the things with my water bottle in the gym. So I have a chili bottle. I really want a hydro jug, but I have a couple of chili bottles and they're really good. They keep my water cold. And also if I'm lobbing them all over the place, they're not gonna break. So a water bottle is really important. Obviously as well, you need to drink water in the gym. Too many people don't take water into the gym and it's not good. We've got to stay hydrated. If you're sweating, that's literally your body being dehydrated. So you need to hydrate to bring it back, if you get what I mean. Just always drink water at the gym. So a new water bottle, very needed. And just a water bottle. If you go to the gym and you don't take water or a drink, cha change that. Please change that for your own sake. Next, these are One's more for like if you already go to the gym and you're kind of serious about the gym and that's a training belt and grip straps. The training belt is just helpful if you're squatting it more, it like, what's it do? It kind of removes your back from the equation so you don't have to think about your back when you're squatting because obviously sometimes if your back's not in the right position, I'm like doing the position, if your back's not in the right position, your back is gonna have some serious pain, especially your lower back. So a training belt really helps it basically helps your core strength. If your core strength's not very strong, a training belt's really gonna help that. They're not needed or anything. Obviously you can just work on your core strength. The gym has them, but I just, a little bit gross, a little bit germy, not my vibe. But yeah, if you are kind of already a serious gym goer um, and you weight lift and blah, 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 training belts would be handy. Or if your core's really strong, then good for you, don't need one. And for grip straps, again, my grip strength isn't bad. It's just, for my RDLs especially, my barbell RDLs, I can do more, but my grip is just the, 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 the barbell slipping. And obviously that's not ideal. So I do want some grip straps just for them. Same with my um, barbell row, just, just so I can lift heavier without worrying. Again, you sh I should just work on my grip strength, but you know, a little bit of assistance isn't, isn't always the worst. So yeah, grip straps and a training belt, those are for more kind of the serious gym, gym, gym gals and guys. Next, I've got a barbell pad. Barbell pad, if you do weight lift and you do hip thrusts, really helpful. I mean, if you're not using a barbell pad and hip thrusting, 
I'm scared of you, genuinely. How? But yeah, barbell pad just supports your, wherever you're putting the barbell. Maybe if you do squats, but it hurts your shoulders. I know that some people do squat with a barbell pad. Next, I've got a subscription or trial or something to a fitness -y app. I tried out the Tone and Sculpt app when I started weightlifting. Really freaking helped. Tone and Sculpt is run by Chrissy Chella. Is that Cella? Keller? Cella, I think it's Chrissy Cella. It really helped me when I was starting weightlifting to like know the exercises and know kind of what I want to do. I've, now I do my own thing, but as I was starting out, so, so helpful. Lean, Lean is a home workout app. So if you work out from home, Lean would be your best friend. I used to love Lean. I used to use it daily before I went to the gym. So yeah, if you work out from home, Lean could not recommend it more. That's by Lily Sabri. Also my fitness pal, they have like a subscription if you track your macros or your calories or blah blah blah. The paid version of my fitness pal is really helpful. It's not needed, but it is really helpful. I don't know, it just kind of it goes into a bit more detail. It tells you like how much protein was in one meal rather than just how much protein was for your whole day or something like that so it's a bit more detailed it's not needed if you want it it's there so i mean none of these are needed obviously you can find workouts and blah 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 on instagram youtube online blah 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 but i do think an app is really good for holding you accountable back to the gym accessories and equipment blah 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 i've got booty bands and resistance bands i don't like the word booty band or two words booty bands Booty bands don't grow your booty. Let me just let me just say that one. Uh, that's a whole other subject though. But resistance bands are really good for warming up or for certain moves. Resistance bands can be helpful, and they can obviously they create resistance, so they can boost your exercise a bit more. But it's cute. Resistance bands are fun. Next, and this is probably like one of the most important things I'd say. If you don't have a good pair of earphones ask for some AirPods or some Beats or something like some good headphones. Working out with some bad earphones, there's, mm, it's a painful time, it really is. I have Beats, I have Beats headphones. I used to have AirPods, but then I broke them and then I stole my mum's AirPods and then broke them. AirPods are really good. I would recommend wireless, anything wireless because you do not want to have to carry your phone. It is, it's horrible. Another thing, if you work out from home or if you were thinking about getting into fitness again, is a yoga mat. They're really helpful for, yeah, if you work out at home or do Pilates or yoga or something. Um, obviously yoga is gonna help. You can get some really, really pretty yoga mats. And if you're doing workouts from home, you do not want to be just on the bare floor. Obviously you need a mat, so for better grip, but also just for like comfort and whatnot so a yoga mat would be really helpful if you're going to the gym or also if you do classes yoga mats would be helpful so yeah yoga mat will really help if you work out from home or whatnot just for the grip and the comfort and the hygiene on to foods and whatnot my absolute favorite protein bars protein shakes protein powders all the goods i would leave like protein shakes and powders to kind of the people who are interested in the nutritional side of fitness and if they're going to the gym and whatnot and they're like committed to it just because protein powders and whatnot for an everyday use it's not necessary protein bars kind of anyone can have a protein bar i'm not saying anyone can't have protein powders i just feel like if you're not that interested in your fitness, you're kind of wasting your money if you're getting protein powder. But protein bars, I love the my protein, any protein, well, I'd, actually my vegan, I haven't actually tried the my protein protein bars. My vegan cookies have my heart. I just love them so much. The Misfits protein bars are so good. Grenade bars are really good. Um, I can't have them anymore. We're not gonna talk about it, I'm still upset. But grenade bars are really freaking good. My protein has a bunch of like flapjacks, brownies, cookies, all the goods. Same with my vegan, they have these carb crushes which I had, they're really good. And with protein powders, if you are going to the gym or into your fitness and blah, 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 I would really recommend protein powders. I can't remember what I was saying. I think I was talking about protein powders. My protein do my favorite protein powders. I've recently started 
uh, trying their vegan ones, but their whey ones are amazing. My absolute favourites are chocolate brownie, chocolate peanut butter, vanilla, cookies and cream. I'm trying to think what else I've tried. Rocky Road, that's a good one. For their vegan ones, I currently have their chocolate smooth. I tried their cacao orange, that one was very good. Tasted a bit like a Jaffa cake. I also have the Misfits cookies and cream protein powder. That is really good, that's really, really good. So yeah, protein powder, if you go to the gym and you're wanting to eat more protein and get the gains, protein powder is your best friend. I always have my protein powder in either oats or yogurt or smoothies. I don't like protein in water or milk. It is, it's no, it's a big fat no from me. I find it really nasty. So yeah, protein powders. But yeah, I think that's all I've got for you. These could be for someone who already goes to the gym or maybe as a New Year's resolution was thinking maybe of getting into their fitness and health and blah, blah, blah. I hope this helped if you were stuck on either what to ask for or what to get someone. Thank you so much for watching. Follow my Instagram for some more fitnessy, foody, lifestyle-y content. I don't really know what my Instagram is at the moment. I'm like changing my mind what I want to do with it every day. Subscribe. I've got another weekly vlog coming on Friday and I will see you then. Love you so much. Kisses and hugs. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.